Who likes the story of Gideon? Anyone else apart from me like the story of Gideon? I love the fact that he tried God and God proved him. You know, cool to have the, the fleece wet and the ground dry and then the fleece dry and the ground wet. That, that's a pretty cool God that we've got. But of course, the most exciting part of Gideon's story is against the Philistines. And um, if you can imagine what they were like waiting on the top of a hill as they're about to go down to fight the Philistines, knowing that God was on their side. But the earlier part of the story, of course, was when Gideon asked for the men of Israel to come out, he got more than God needed. And isn't that an amazing thing about our God, that he only uses a small amount and makes such a big impact. So this song's called Gideon. It's a little bit hectic. Um, so hopefully I'll get all the words in. <laughs> Gideon, the mighty man with an army. Gideon, the mighty man with an army. Gideon, the mighty man with an army. Now they've all gone home. The Lord said they are no use to me because they don't trust in me. It's time to sort out the warriors. Gideon better send them home. The Philistines were camped all about them. Philistines were camped all about the Philistines. Were camped all about them. Victory they were sure. But God he is a mighty warrior. God he is a mighty warrior. God he is a mighty warrior. He knew how to win. He said, take just 300 men, then give each one a light and make them hide it in a canister and sneak up in the night. They broke their lights at once and they shouted, broke their lights at once and they shouted, broke their lights at once and they shouted, glory God on high. The Philistines, they woke up in fright and they slew each other dead. And so God had all the victory, Gideon and 300 men. Gideon the mighty man with an army, Gideon the mighty man with an army, Gideon the mighty man with an army, now they've all gone home. 